2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Corn Ferry Tour opener is about to begin. Hello everyone, Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam and Rich, this next golfer is about to take part in their very first Corn Ferry Tour event. What are they up against? What can they expect for the season ahead? Luke, it's all been fun and games up until now. Now, this is where reality hits you. Three wins, battlefield promotion, straight onto the PGA Tour. In all reality, finish in the top 25 and get your PGA Tour card for next season. There's a lot at stake, though, isn't there, Rich? Because everyone's gunning for the same prize. There is a little benefit, though. The top 75 at the end of the regular season, at least they get themselves to that Corn Ferry Tour playoffs, which is huge. Yes, but you can't think that way. You have to think top 25 or nothing else. That's the way that you get from the Corn Ferry Tour to the PGA Tour. You don't have to think about the qualifying process. You're in, done, thank you. All right, the bar's been set. Shoot for the top. Can't wait to see what unfolds. This looks to be heading to the green. Well, that's a lovely approach and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the first. They've made it. Off to a great start today. Absolutely. Love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Getting off to a great start at this event. Can't birdie them all unless you birdie the first, Luke. Good start. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. That one's right out of the top drawer. Time for the second shot here on the second hole. It might be an ambitious play, but I like it. Looks like they're going for the green here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. This is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Remember, putting's a finesse game. Putting for birdie. And down she goes. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. She's currently in second position. Here we are at the third. The tee is yours. Going with the five wood. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look.
Go on, get in the hole. Oh, he's up, Tiger. This is a par putt. Yeah, we'll take that. Currently a couple under for the round. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Oh, that was pure. From around 140 yards here, one stroke off the lead. Choosing the nine iron here. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the fourth. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Make this putt. He'll tie for top spot on the leaderboard. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. And with that, she'll move to three under par. She's in a share of top spot. It's time to step onto the tee here at the fifth. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the fifth. This one might need to get down a little. That's some good golf right there. There's part of about six feet coming up. That was a gallant attempt. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. Currently at minus three for the round. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Looking shot this. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. They need to flight this one down into the wind.
going with the eight iron here. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. What an opportunity to make a birdie. And that's their fourth birdie of the day. And with that, she'll move to four under par. And at the end of that hole, she's now broken the tie. Now our clear leader. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Opting for the five wood. Yeah. A lovely play. She's on the dance floor. Made birdie on the last, looking for a second in a row here. Rush of blood by the looks of it. Just three feet to the cup. Well hold. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a par four. That reminded me of the big easy. Silky smooth. from around 170 yards here. Wind is blowing left to right, gonna try and hold it against the wind. Going with the five iron here. That impressed me and her. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Oh, this looks pure. Oh, that's a lengthy putt. Wall hold. And that will take her to five under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. This hole's a tough two-shotter. A long par four. Beautiful swing there. Second shot here on the ninth. to be going with the five iron. Pretty good shot there. 12 feet to the cup coming up. This is a good chance. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. Well, this is where the knees start to knock. The sweat starts to appear on the palms of your hands, Rich. Just a slender lead with nine to play. Well, keep your hands to yourself. But yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment.
Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Second shot here at the 10th. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And here we are with the third shot. Back into the wind. They need to flight this one down. Oh, I like that strike. This one's hitting well towards the green. This putt coming up is for birdie. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And with that, she'll move to six under par. She's currently in first position. This has to be one of the more difficult holes in golf. The long par four. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. Time for the second shot at the 11th. Going with the seven. Well, you're a ball striker. There's no doubt about that. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. That's a momentum maker, isn't it? Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. Leading by three strokes now. Let's see what happens here at the 12th. Well, let's see if they can roll off that birdie at the last. Lovely momentum here. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Well, she should be happy with that. Anywhere on the green was a good shot. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, guys, this is looking like about 27 feet. <laughs> Terrific roll. It even had a chance. Easy par, that. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. And after a par at the last, a chance to perhaps signal some intent. Oh, that is a thing of beauty. Going with the six iron here. Oh, come on, sit. A wonderful shot. A chance for Birdie here on the 13th. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. Hey, nice looking line. 
Oh, she's making it look easy. Holding putts with will. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. Our leader is currently enjoying a four-stroke advantage. It's time to tee off here at the 14th hole. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. Second shot here on the 14th. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. Yep, that one's on the dance floor. You can two-putt that for sure. Birdie at the last. This for another. Oh, so close. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that hole, this is how the leaderboard looks right now. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. And that should find the cut stuff. Playing from around 150 yards here. Wind is blowing from right to left here. Wants to work it against the wind. <laughs> Opting for the 9 iron. Outstanding approach shot. Five feet coming up to the cup. Ooh, nice line. And that putt drops. Now nine under as we head to the stretch. Ooh, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. Our current leader enjoys a five-shot advantage. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Going with the 9-iron, nine nine, I think. Nicely done. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, from where I am, it looks around 27 feet, I'd say. What an effort. And another shot to your lead. Two in a row there, Luke. Getting their groove on. Well, that's worth reviewing. Let's roll the video tape. <laughs> Lean by six strokes after that one. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Ooh. 
This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Well, that's right out of the top draw. A great shot from our leader. Wow, was that a massive drive there. Holy cow. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Getting ready to play their third. Wonderful play, leading with intent. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. You just keep building a bigger advantage. Well played. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. This should find the short grass. Well, this is a little bit of a birdie blitz going on from the player. Can they make another? Absolutely. It's been a good streak late in the round. Opting for the six iron. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for Birdie at the last. If she holds this, she'll win it all. And that's going to do it. Holds the putt for victory. Well played. Oh, absolutely. Sunday fun day. Let's go find the winner and spend the check, baby. Well, Rich, this is a big moment in this young player's career. Their very first victory on the Corn Ferry Tour. What a way to start your career. Get the win out of the way. Bigger things lie ahead for this player. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.
2K Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the Sand Dune Classic is about to start. I'm Luke Elvey with Rich Beam in the booth. And on course, we've got John McCarthy. Thanks, Luke. Uh, glad to be here. Looking forward to taking in some golf at eye level down here. Can't wait to see what happens out there today. Oh, that's a sweet looking swing, that one. One win so far this season. Looking for number two here today. Choosing the nine iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Yes, any time you can find the green and have a putt, you'll take it. This putt right on 12 feet to the hole. Gee, that had a chance, didn't it? And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. Starting the round at even par. Let's see what happens here on the second hole. Now oh, this one looks to be heading down the runway. Around 110 yards to go. Opting for the 9-iron. Nine -nine. Well, that's comfortably on the dance floor. Well played. Not a bad shot, that. Still a chance. Scorecard filled with threes never hurts. Good putt to make this. Big chance here. Ooh, right by the hole. And they'll walk away with a par on this one. And with that par, she'll remain at even overall. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. And here we are with the third shot. <laughs> Nicely done. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Currently one under for the round. And after that good play, moving up the leaderboard. The tee is yours. Here we are at the fourth hole. Look, 
coming off a birdie at the last hole. This player finally is making something happen. Looking forward to the next hole, but danger lurks if they're not careful. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Great looking shot, this. Yeah, she knew that wasn't going to be super tight, but she'll take it nevertheless, especially with a couple of putts from there. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Three feet to go here to the hole. Well, that's a momentum maintainer. Well done. And a little slide down the standings after that hole. It's time to step on the tee here at the fifth. What kind of rhythm is that? It must be tough falling out of bed every day with a rhythm like that. John's down on the course, and do you have a better look at this lie? Sitting up pretty nicely in the sand. Shouldn't have too much trouble getting out. Well, the putter's going to be coming out of the bag, but it's still going to be a long way from the hole. A chance for the top ten here if we can make this. <laughs> ah, that's frustrating. Nine feet to the cup. Oh, that's pure heart. Great fight to make that putt. Yeah, in the bunker, off the tee. Great recovery. Currently one under for the day. Let's see what happens here on the sixth. He's better than that. That'll be disappointing. And from the bunker here. Trying to get to two under with this part. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. Six feet remaining to the cup. A good stroke. Oh, wonderful effort. Confirms the par. Trailing by five shots after that hole. Par threes always offer up that hope of a hole in one. Going with a three wood here.
A nice approach shot there. Pin high inside the range. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. And there it is. And that will take her to two under. She finds herself in a share of 11th place. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Let's see what happens here at the eighth. That should find the fairway. Playing this shot from about 170 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. attention folks that's how you play golf it's already had a few birdies today another opportunity for another one let's take a look it's got a chance and down it goes so that's back-to-back -back birdies well, what a lovely boost into the top five she goes now current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last let's see if they can deliver another one Oh, that is crushed. Second shot here on the ninth hole. Looks to be going with the six iron. And hitting yet another green here in regulation. Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Ooh, good look at a birdie here. And with that, that's their fourth birdie. And that will take her to four under. All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? Look, they're in the top ten, and they're actually making a really nice push up this leaderboard. Let's see how they play over this final nine holes. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. And playing this one from around 120 yards out. Wind's blowing right to left here, and they're going to go ahead and ride the one in here. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This one is chewing fiber. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Well, that's well played and sets up a good birdie look here at the 10th. Hey, that's a chance. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. And with that, she'll move to five under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Well, now, things have gotten interesting. Closing the gap. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. Coming off a string of four birdies. Opting for the hybrid, I think. Good shot that, right inside the range. 
and this punt for a share of the lead. This one has eyes for the hole. Ouch, that hurts. And that should secure the par. Well done. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Currently five under for the round. Time to make a move. The tee is yours here at the 12th hole. Opting for the five iron. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. You know what? That deserves a golf clap. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take it to six under. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Let's see what happens here at the 13th. Oh, I could watch that swing all day. That's beautiful. Setting up to play the shot here from the greenside rough. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Looking putt. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. Still in the lead now after that hole. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Not a bad line, this one. Time for the second shot at the 14th. Going with the five iron here. Yep, that shot safely on the green. 12 feet to the cup coming up. Tracking. And that's eight birdies today. And that will take her to eight under. She's currently tied for first. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Oh, that sounded absolutely flushed. Playing from around 240 yards. Wind is blowing left to right. Going to try and hold it against the wind. Opting for the three wood. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. 
Well, this is exciting. A putt for an eagle. Just didn't drop. This one's for Birdie. And down it goes. Now an impressive nine under par as we head to the stretch. Just a small sliver of a lead. This could go any different direction down the stretch. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Oh, tidy looking shot that. This putt is from 14 feet. Well done. Take the birdie. She's currently sitting in first place. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Nicely done. Second shot here on the 17th. That goes down for an eagle. Wow, what can you say? Holding it out from the fairway. Every player loves that feeling. What a shot indeed. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Here we have a long par four. It's going to take two great shots to get on. Well, Rich, I'm pretty sure this player will be beaming with pride after that eagle. Let's see if they can keep the momentum flowing. That's heading for the fairway. Playing from around 160 yards. Pretty good win back into the player's face. Going with the six iron here. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for Birdie. Well, what an opportunity in front of her. This for the tournament. Starts off on a good line. Hold it. That's another victory. Hats off to them. If one is good, two is twice as nice, isn't it? Two wins on the season for this player. Awesome stuff.
I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam, and on behalf of all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. UK Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you today's event. Today's coverage of the East Coast Classic is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and Rich, the way this play has been going, you can see a PGA Tour future in their near future. Yes, they've got two wins on the season already, so they're guaranteed to finish in the top 25 and get onto the PGA Tour, but another win would increase their chances of getting higher status for next year's rankings. Big day coming up. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, Rich. This should be an absolute beauty. Two wins so far this season. This is all over it like a tropical disease. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. Wow, what a shot. Looks like a pretty straightforward five-footer to me. Oh, nice looking putt. And that's for birdie. Well hold. And always a good feeling to have early in the round. Currently one under for the event. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. Oh, that's a stunner. How well she swing it. Playing from around 230 yards. Seems to have chosen the three wood. This one needs to kick left. Well, this person displays the power game in pure fashion there. Two big hits there, knocking in on this par five and two. Putting for Eagle here. I don't mind the look of this. And down it goes for an Eagle. And now at three under overall. Gotta like it, moving up the leaderboard, never a bad thing. 
Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Oh, this would be handy if we could bounce right. Oh, terrific approach and a chance for birdie here at the third. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Ooh, putting for par. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. She's currently tied for second. Teeing off here at the fourth. Wonderfully played. Sitting at minus three, currently tied for second. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And with that, she'll move to four under par. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And they'll be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Well, that's a touch of the Freddie Couples rhythm right there. Oh, my. That's a dreadful lie. Can she get out of here? Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot of ball in the sand here, guys. Let's see how they deal with this one. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Just a fantastic shot. Guaranteed birdie hitting it that close. It's got a chance. And the punt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. And that is a nice birdie from the bunker. Way to go. Currently at minus five now for the day. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. Oh, great swing there. From about 100 yards. Going with the 9 iron, I think. Oh, well played. Butting for birdie. It's up, it could be in. You can mark it down, that's birdie number four today. And with that, she'll move to six under par. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And after a birdie at the last, they'll take the honour on the hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. This one from about 160 yards out. A wonderful shot here at the seventh and sets up another birdie chance. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic.
It's tracking and racking up their fifth birdie of the day. And that will move her to seven under. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Quality shot that one. 16 feet to the cup. This one's online. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. And that puts her in first place. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. That one's heading down Broadway. Time for the second shot here at the ninth. Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. We've known some good iron players in my day, but you're right up there. This putt coming up is for birdie. Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. Oh, this is a precarious position, if you don't mind me saying, Rich. They have the lead, but there's plenty chasing with just nine to play. Yeah, no time to start thinking about that lead, Luke. they got to keep their head down and keep going forward. Cannot think about that lead or people will pass them. Well, I like the look of the line here. This should find the fairway. Time for the second shot at the 10th. Choosing the 9 iron here. Well, that's beautifully judged. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. And with it, she's going to extend the lead on the field. Leading by five shots after that. Let's see what happens here at the 11th hole. This looks to be a fairway seeker to me. And here we are with the third shot. Hmm. That was close. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And down it goes. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. We have a par four on this one.
That should find the cut stuff. Second shot here on the 12th. Chosen the pitching wedge here. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. Yeah, nice mid-range birdie putt, that one. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Teeing off here on the 13th hole. Looks to have chosen the 7-iron. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. it was on a good line. You can make this one. It's for par. Okay, let's head to the next. Now, five shots up after that hole. And now teeing off on this par four hole. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? Second shot here on the 14th hole. Looks like they've got the five wood. A wonderful shot into 14. It sets up another look at birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. It's on a great line. Well, you're going to be difficult to catch now if you keep holding putts like that. Our leader is up by a whopping six shots now. This hole here is a par four. That is right down the sprinkler line. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Going with the seven. Not bad. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, it looks like it's about 24 feet to the cup from here. Go in. Oh, just missed. It's just about three feet away. And down it goes. Let's head to the next. And a nice feeling it must be to have that sizable of a lead coming down the stretch. Teeing off here on the 16th hole. 
beautiful swing there. Playing from around 210 yards here. Going with the five wood. Wow, what a shot. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. Always like the aggressive play, going for it in two and getting rewarded for it. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. This one's dialed in. Oh, she's making it look easy. Holland putts with Will. No movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. Teeing off here on the 17th hole. Oh, this is on a fantastic line. Is it the right distance? That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. It's on a good line. A oh, well hold. He'll take the Birdie. Still in the lead now after that hole. Pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. <laughs> Lovely rhythm there, Rich. That's going to work every time. From around 170 yards here. Opting for the six iron. That's a lovely shot here at the 18th and a chance for Birdie at the last. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. Oh, what a stroke. Well, in it goes, and this just continues this player's dominance. Hat trick of victories now, three of them. Gotta say, this player is on fire. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Helvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.
and welcome to our PGA Tour coverage here on 2K Sports. We're at the TGC Open. Today's coverage is about to begin. Luke Elvey here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's like the first day at school, isn't it? This player's now made it to the PGA Tour. What could possibly be going on through their mind? They're just trying to not vomit <laughs> when they're on the first tee, Luke. <laughs> right. Nobody's thinking about the money and the excitement <laughs> and the major wins. And this is the honest truth. You are literally so excited to hit that first tee shot. You really don't care where it goes, but you want it to be in play. But right. you just, that's the only thing that you can. Let's just get going. That's the only thing that you can possibly comprehend mm -hmm. is hitting that ball. That's the only thing you can. I, I dare any other player to say, well, <laughs> this is the <laughs> right. yeah. first of many unbelievable opportunities. Listen, we, we can talk about everything that they want to achieve or what their career was, but right now their one and only goal is getting that first tee shot in play somewhere. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. Yeah, that one's looking good. <laughs> Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Five feet coming up to the cup. I like the look of this. Oh, what a way to build momentum early. Oh, thank you very much. I'll have another. Currently one under for the tournament. I can't ever recall him making a birdie and feeling bad about it. So, yes, birdie on the first. Great job. Two great shots are required here because this hole is a long par four. This player's got some lovely momentum coming off a birdie at the last. This one's looking good off the tee. That should find the short stuff. From around 180 yards out. Wind's blowing from left to right. They're going to try and hook this one in the wind to slow the golf ball down. Looks to be going with the five iron. Has got this thing dialed in here, looking good. A wonderful shot, and a chance for Purdy here at the second. Just three feet to the cup. Putt is underway. And with that putt hold, it's back to back birdies. Gotta like it, two in a row. Let's have a look at Jim Furyk from earlier. Simply amazing what he does from here. Oh, that's a sensational moment. Mark that down as a highlight today. And after this hole, that's how it looks. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Mm. That's right out of the copy books. Exquisite. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Looking better. Fair effort, that. Good birdie. They're just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. Gotta say, just some of the best rhythm in the game. Let's have a look at Kevin Kisner. And this putt to move into the top five on the leaderboard. Get in. And he holds it. 
What a putt. And that will take him to one under. Let's return to live play now. Rich, they say you need to have at least one weapon to be a success on tour. But for me, Kevin Kisner has two. Yes, he's a great player, but my God, he's a feisty competitor. That, I think, is his greatest asset by a long shot. We got a first taste of it a few years back in the playoff loss at the Players' Championship. And going forward, he is week in and week out a force to be reckoned with. He gets any kind of taste of the lead, sniffs the lead. He's not going anywhere. He wants that bad. And he's not going to he's not going to make it easy on you. He's not going to make bogeys. He'll par you to death. He will absolutely make you as uncomfortable as he possibly can. He's not long. He's not tall. He's not intimidating. But I got to say, when you look in his eyes, you know that guy is the real deal. Here we are at the fifth hole. The tee is yours. Oh, that was pummeled. Great drive. Nothing like a bit of momentum here, Rich. This one's going for another birdie. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. She's a top quality player, this one. Trying to get to five under with this putt. That was a gallant attempt. Good chance, this one. Right on six feet. Well done. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. Now leading by one shot. Time to tee off at the sixth. Wow, that was just striped. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a great up and down from this spot. Second shot here on the sixth. Well, that's a handy shot. Getting ready to play their third. Fairways and greens. Easy game, isn't it? A chance to move to five under par. Okay, steady now. Three feet to go here to the hole. Job done. Let's head to the next. And she's our leader. We have a par three on this one.
opting for the five wood. Yeah, well played. There's a long way, but I tell you what, I've seen it happen before, so there's a chance. Right by the hole. Pretty good chance here. This one's for par. And that puddle drop. Well done. And now we go to the 13th where this happened just a moment ago. Tim Furyk doing what he does best. I got to say, his short game is one of the best in the game. Oh, that's the shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about getting it up and down. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. This hole is a par four, and it's a pretty lengthy one at that. And after that par, they're looking for something good here. That reminded me of the Big Easy. Silky smooth. Time for the second shot at the eighth. Looks like they've got the five wood. Come on, get a good bounce to the left. Yeah, nicely played. John, have you got a read on this one? I'm thinking 28 feet to the cup from here. And with that fine putt, she extends her advantage over the field. And that will take her to five under. That shot's so good, we need to have another look. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. Oh. And they increase their lead. This is impressive, Luke, but can they hold up this play? That swing's so pure, it reminds me of Adam Scott's. Here's some action from just a moment ago. Justin Thomas with an amazing shot. Let's recap his fourth shot. OK, let's get back to the action. Time to take their approach shot into the ninth. <laughs> Sitting at five under for the day. Currently in the lead. Woo, back there, horsey. Oh, lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the ninth. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Yeah, it's just about three feet away. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Don't know about you, Rich, but I'm getting my palms sweaty in the booth just thinking about this player's position with nine to play. Yeah, but I, I like the position. I like being out in front. It forces the other players to come catch you. I like their position. Good-looking shot, this. Second shot here on the tenth hole.
Going with the five wood. You liked that, didn't you? And this effort by Justin Thomas from the sand, looking to get up and down. Ooh! Ha! Oh, right at it from out of the bunker. Trying to get to six under now with this putt. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Gee, that's good playing. Six birdies in a round. And that will take it to six under. Our leader is enjoying a three-stroke advantage. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. Oh, well done. Going with the pitching wedge here. Nice shot, that. That should find the surface. Outstanding approach shot. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Nice stroke. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. And we've arrived at a par three. Nice birdie at the last. Let's see what they can produce here. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. A wonderful shot and a birdie opportunity coming up at the 12th. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at birdie coming up. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And that will take her to eight under. You've arrived at a par five. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. And there's highlights of plenty out there on the golf course. Let's take a look at this incredible shot. I'll tell you what, from the fairway bunker, this is one you got to keep your eyes on. And back to the course with the live action. Time for the second shot here at the 13th. And here we are with the third shot. Wow, what a shot. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. They're lining up the birdie putt here. Oh, so close. Big putt for par coming up. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. Leading by five shots after that. Welcome to this hole.
That's a par four. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. And this effort by Justin Thomas. Getting ready to play their third. Almost went down. Second shot here on the 14th. This one needs to kick left. That's a wonderful shot here at the 14th and sets up a chance for birdie. Oh, that's frustrating. It's just about three feet away. You don't want to miss these. And the putt drops, and we're moving on. She's currently sitting in first place. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Opting for the five iron. She's managed to find the green on this approach. Slim chance for a birdie, but in all reality, two putt for par would be just fine. Always lovely to see a long range bomb made. Let's recap it. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, what's she looking at? Well, it looks like they've got about 38 feet to the cup. Oh, what a shame. That would have been a nice one to hold. You know, Luke Donald once made all 400 plus attempts inside three feet on the PGA Tour. Currently eight under for the round. Three holes remaining, Luke. This is getting awfully fun. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Man, people usually don't go that far on vacation. What a drive. This shot from around 210 yards. Opting for the five wood. Oh, almost went in. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. was on a good line and with that you can go and put a par on the card and after that hole this is how the leaderboard looks and this is quality play still on top of the leaderboard two holes to go luke can they hang on
Oh, I love that aggressive play. That's exactly what I've done. Nobody wants to see somebody laying up on a power four that's drivable. Pull out the big stick. Oh dear, time to get the chipper back out. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, wouldn't that have been nice? And they'll walk away with a par on this one. Leading by four strokes after that one. And a chance to ice the tournament here. Holding the lead, playing the last. This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Time for the second shot on the 18th. Getting ready to play their third. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. She holds this. She'll win it all. This one started out on a good line. Ladies and gentlemen, they've just won their first ever PGA Tour event. Rich, what do you think's going through their mind right now? Nothing. Uh, they're confused about everything right now. I tell you, you just... You win and you're just, you can't believe it just happened. You really just have no idea. You're shocked. It's a great feeling. Well, Rich, after that hot start, it's probably a little surprise that this player powered through to victory. It's very rare where you see a player absolutely dominate a field like they did in this tournament. Unbelievable job all around. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Rich Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.
2K Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open is about to start. Luke Elvey alongside Rich Bean here in Las Vegas. It's known as Thin City, but we're at TPC Summerlin for the golf. What's this course like? This golf course historically plays firm and fast and yields lots of birdies. So players going into this week know full well that they have to have the putter going. They need to hit a lot of greens, but they also need to make sure that they're making five, six, seven birdies a day out there. Because if they're not, if they're struggling with birdies and only making pars, then the entire field is going to pass them by. It's a great opportunity because historically the wind doesn't blow very much and all the par fives are reachable. But still, having to make birdies, knowing you need to make birdies, isn't always the easiest thing. We're in Vegas, and you can even see the famous strip from the golf course. Do the players need to roll the dice, have a little gamble out on that course? I think you have to gamble everywhere on the PGA Tour, but in Las Vegas, I think it's required, isn't it? Be rude not to. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. What an opportunity to make a birdie. That's the right pace. This should drop. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. In she goes. Let's head to the next. Starting the round at even par. The second at TPC Summerlin is a par four measuring 469 yards from the back tee. It plays slightly downhill. So a strong drive here will set up even just a short iron approach. However, there's a huge waste area to the right, so accuracy off the tee is required. The smart option here is to lay back to the three metal and give yourself a full shot in, and also take one club less into this green as it will release down the slope. Well, you'd have to think this person's got a head full of confidence, Rich, coming off a last start win. The game is coming easy to this player right now, so no reason not to believe they can't do it again this week. Going with the five iron here. Just a bit outside into the rough. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, a lovely opportunity to save par here. Looking good. Yeah, nothing to sweat over that one. We'll hold. And that'll ensure she stays level with the card. The third hole at TPC Summerlin is a very strong par four measuring 492 yards. There's a huge ravine that works right up through the middle of this. It requires a very strong drive up the right half to go at this green in two. There is a big fairway to the left if you want to tuck over and get up and down for your par that way. Playing from around 190 yards out. Looks like they've got the five wood. Should find the green here.
That's just inside the range. Outside chance here for the birdie. coming up here and down it goes let's head to the next and she'll stay right there at even par the fourth at TPC Summerlin is a pretty straightaway par four measuring 450 yards from the back tees the fairway bunkers down the left and right are to be avoided really not much to this hole just be accurate on approach oh, absolutely flushed Opting for the 9-iron. Nine nine. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Well, that's beautifully judged. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. And this putt to move into the top 20. Not a bad line, this. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take her to one under. And this player's moving up on the leaderboard after that hole. The fifth at TPC Summerlin is a par three measuring 197 yards. Depending on where they put the tees on this hole, ensures the type of club you need to get at it. If you're going at it, make sure you avoid that bunker that's short and right. Looks to be going with the six iron. Lovely effort, that. Well, this is one of those lengthy putts. John, how do you see it? Well, guys, it's about 22 feet to go here. Out about the pace. And this one is for her par. Okay, let's head to the next. Justin Thomas is our current leader. The sixth at TPC Summerlin is a staking par four, playing 430 yards. There's a big waste area up to the left-hand side that needs to be avoided. If you can position your drive on the right half of this fairway, it gives you the best shot up the hill to a green that is not protected by any bunkers. Here we have Cam Champ from just a little while ago. Lining up for his third now. Nailed it. from about 130 yards here. Four strokes off the lead. Going with the 9-iron, nine I think. This one's going right at the pin here. That's a great shot into birdie range here at the sixth. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Hang on, this looks pretty handy. And that will drop in for Birdie. And with that, she'll move to a couple under par. 
Justin Thomas is at the top of the leaderboard with a one-shot lead. The seventh at TPC Summer is a short par four measuring just 382 yards off the tips. Really, you just want to avoid the trees on the left-hand side because that will prevent you getting at the green, which is well guarded by bunkers and trees. Lay up, short right, a nice little wedge in here and try and make a birdie. And this effort by Justin Thomas. This would be a great up and down. Go ahead and make it. Already a winner this season. Number two would be very nice here today. Keep your fingers crossed for a bounce to the right. Left yourself an opportunity. He's already had a few birdies today. This for another. Trying to get two, three under par with this putt. Just didn't drop. Pretty straightforward four footer coming up here. Looks good off the blade. Yeah, good putt. Well hold. Now three strokes back after that hole. The eighth at TPC Summerlin is a big par three playing 239 from the tips. A well-struck shot will avoid the gully here, but anything to the left half can roll off the green. The bunker short rider also to be avoided so you don't make a sloppy bogey. Going with the five wood. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. He's already made a few birdies today, and this is another good look. This one's looking good. Well done. Take the birdie. And she'll move into the top ten with that effort. She's currently tied for seventh. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. The ninth at TPC Summerlin is a par five measuring over 563 yards. Really, the main aim here is to just avoid that bunker off the left of the tee. Then, if safe in the fairway, you can get after this green. A strong shot will play to the left half of this green and feed down to any hole location. A birdie chance, no doubt. Typically played in the fall portion of the season, but it really does have a great field these days. The Shriners Hospital for Children's Open, staged in Las Vegas. A great atmosphere around in the city. Rich, what do you like the most about it? We're in Vegas, baby. I mean, what's not to love about Vegas? And the players love it too, but they also love what the Shriners Hospital for Children is all about. They give so much money back to the charities involved. It's wonderful. They bring a lot of the kids out, and the players understand it. They know it. So as much as they love coming to Vegas, you know, letting their hair down a little bit, a lot of it has to go back to the charity component of it. That's why they come. The golf course is fun. You can freewheel it out here. It is at the beginning of the year. They want to come out, and they want to make some birdies. They want to test out new equipment. They want to test out new swing theories. They want to come out and work on their game a little bit in a competitive environment. And there's no better environment than this because they can go out and see where they're at because it's usually no wind, warm conditions, and you can get a good judge of exactly where their game's at. So I think players use this as a building block for the next year's play. And what a venue. I mean, it, it's just you get rewarded for good shots. You get penalized for bad ones. But it's a really good environment to go out there and, like I said, test new swing theories, work on your game a little bit, and kind of see where you're at. And it never hurts to make a fast start to the new season. Of course, this is part of that wraparound schedule. And if you're catching a few shows as well or hitting into the casinos, well, you get a complete week, don't you? Well, I mean, there's nothing wrong with a little bit of fun in Las Vegas, is there? As long as it stays in Las Vegas. That's tiny. Looks to me, Rich, that this player has a ton of confidence. Put themselves right back in position to win straight off their last start. They're going to have to make some birdies coming down the closing stretch, but they have a lot of good vibes coming from that last win. 
I expect more of the same this week. Choosing the nine iron here. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? This looks like somewhere in the 27-foot range from here. That's on the green, but still a fair way away from the flag. This putt is of nine feet. Their short game today has been absolutely sublime fun to watch. Okay, steady now. This one's for bogey. And down it goes. And JT is currently our leader. Placement off the tee is required at the TPC Summerlin 11th hole. Par four, measuring 448 yards. The big bunker down the right side is to be avoided at all costs. And there's also a little tree there which might affect any line of sight approach to this green. John, do you have any info down there? Well, I'm down here following Cameron Champ. We're on the 12th hole now. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Well, that's well judged. Hole high, right inside the range. Well, this would be a good putt to make, and with it, a share of third spot. This one's looking good. And with that putt, she's bounced back immediately from the drop shot at the last. Oh, she'll take a spot in the top five to boot. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. Managing to chase down the leaders, closing that gap. Got to like it. That looks to be a fairway finder to me. This shot from 120 yards. Only two shots off the pace. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. Butting for birdie. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And with that, she'll move to five under par. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. Tell you what, inching closer to that top spot on the leaderboard, things are definitely heating up. That was wonderfully done. Second shot here on the 13th hole. Getting ready to play their third. Just a stroke behind the leader. Handy effort, that one. And this part to move into a share of first. That starts off on a good line. 
Oh, what a round this is. Seven birdies today. And with that, she'll move to six under par. She finds herself in a share of the lead. The 14th at TPC Sumlin is a straightaway par three, playing 168 yards. The green slopes right to left, so make sure you've got the right length of club so you're not left with a long putt. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. Let's have a look at Matt Cooch's shot. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Oh, I like the look of this. Let's get back to it, shall we? Oh, a nine-foot chance here. Go on, get in the hole. And that's eight birdies today. And that will move her to seven under. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. The play so far has been stellar, increasing the lead, Luke. But can they maintain it? Let's find out. Wow, that was just striped. Johnny Mac. What's the news? Oh, good to hear from you guys. This is uh, hole number 16, checking out Cameron Champ. Let's return to live play now. Cameron Champ is one of those players that exploded onto tour, Rich. He brought that power game with him and was a winner straight away. But now he's facing that sort of second-year syndrome, isn't he? He is, Luke, but he's one of these unique players where I think his power can get him through the tough times. I think that if he figures out a way to learn how to play the golf course on the PGA Tour effectively, even his bad weeks will start making cuts and being in contention a little more often. As with most young players, they just need time to develop. And we look at a birdie here. You just keep building a bigger advantage. Well played. And with just a slim lead coming down that stretch, anything can happen. Sitting at minus eight for the day. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This is going to be a wild and woolly finish. The 16th hole at TPC Summerlin is the final par five on the course, Rich, and one the players can reach in two. Obviously, no hope leaving it short with your second shot in the water at 16. So most players bailing out, hitting it just over this green. If they draw a decent lie, they can chip it close, make birdie. However, not so easy. And there's a couple of low areas and greenside bunkers to deal with long of this green. Come on, look after us. Little bounce to the right here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. Ooh, right by the hole. This putt coming up is for birdie. Job done. Let's head to the next. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by a stroke. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Let's find out. Going with the hybrid. Any bounce to the left here would be helpful. Wonderful play, leading with intent. 
Well, the practice is paying off here, Luke. This player is relentless. Looking really good this month. But that's a good putt to hold any day of the week. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by two strokes. The 18th at TPC Sutherland is a 444-yard par four with a big body of water just beyond the gully, which you've got to drive. Make sure you avoid those bunkers on the right side to give you a good iron into this green. Well, I like the way this person's playing. Birdie's all over that scorecard. Yes, the only thing that could ruin it now is a triple bogey. Going with the seven. A wonderful shot into the 18th and a chance for Birdie. Well, what an opportunity in front of her. This for the tournament. Our winner of the Shriners Hospitals for Children Open. It's fair to say they were money this week. They were definite money this week. Lots of players had a chance coming down the stretch, but only one of them rolled the dice and came up spades in their win. And Rich, what a performance. They've got back-to-back -back wins. What a force they're proving to be out here on tour. I got to say, this player is in full flight at the moment. Just sit back and watch how awesome they are at the moment. Well, that'll just about do it. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. Look forward to your company next time.
2K Sports so proudly presents this PGA Tour event. Today's coverage of the Southern Open is about to begin. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and down on the course, it's hello to John McCarthy.
Good day, Luke. Happy to be here at Hickory Creek. And uh, wow, talk about a first hole. Have you seen the landing area these players have to deal with? Pretty narrow out there, and there's bunkers flanking on either side. Can't wait to see what unfolds here today. It's going to be fun. Yeah, give yourself a pat on the back. Already with a couple of wins under their belt. Going with the six iron here. That's a shame. Had a chance to hit the green, but couldn't quite get there. Yeah, it's a bit too much club on that one. And here we are with the third shot. She needs this to save par. Ooh, that looks like a pure stroke. Starting the round at even par. Welcome to this par five hole. Mm -hmm. A thing of beauty. Well, this is some lovely momentum to take into the tournament. Coming off a last start win, Rich. Can't think of any better momentum. Obviously, the player is firing on all cylinders. Sit back, watch, and enjoy it. Oh, golf clap. That's a beauty. Getting ready to play their third. Well struck. Just 10 feet to the cup here. Get excited. This could go in. Ouch. That hurts. And that should secure the par. Well done. So after that hole, this is the current standings on the course. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. And how about this shot from Patrick Cantlay? He's a sharp shooter from short range, isn't he? So with another hole behind us, let's take a look at the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the third hole. Oh, seems to have got a big piece of that one. Striped. Playing this shot from about 180 yards. Going with the four iron here. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. Now, that looked pretty good the whole way. All right, John, how's this putt looking? Well, this one looks like about 26 feet. she goes from outside the range and let's have another look at that one
Let's take a look at Cameron Champ from earlier. An absolute beauty here. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Lovely momentum for this player after that birdie at the last hole. Keep it rolling. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Sitting at one under. Currently tied for fifth place. <laughs> Opting for the nine iron. Pay attention, folks. That's how you play golf. Made birdie on the last. Looking for a second in a row here. And this putt to move into a tie for fourth place. At minus two, going along nicely today. Let's see what happens here at the fifth. Going with a three wood here. Ah, that one's heading out to the right. Not a bad approach, that one. Not quite inside the birdie range, but you never know. Hole a long one. Still counts. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Looking really good. You can't make them all. Go tap it in. Well, that hole's behind us. More to play. Just two shots back after that hole. Here we are at the sixth hole. Eight days a week, that rhythm works. Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. Two strokes off the lead. Didn't quite have the right stuff there. One of the rare misses for this player today, Luke. They've been handling a lot of greens today. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. You better believe it is great stuff to watch. Currently a couple under for the event. You've arrived at a par four. That dog will hunt. Time for the second shot here at the seventh. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. John, what's going on out there? Hi, guys. This is uh, 
hole number eight, and we're looking at Cameron Champ at the moment. That was a gallant attempt. Seven feet to the cup. It's half a chance of being hold this one. And that's for Birdie. Well hold. And that will take it at three under. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. to be going with the five iron. A great shot here at the eighth and a chance for birdie. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. Some momentum being built now. That's back-to-back -back birdies. Back-to-back -back birdies moving the right direction there, Luke. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honor on the hole. <laughs> Looks like they put a good pass on that one. And now we go to the 10th, where this happened moments ago. This is a superb shot from Patrick Cantlay. This is his third. And back to the course with the live action. Sitting at four under for the day, tied for second place. That's a good looking shot there. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. This is a good chance. Mark it down, that's birdie number five. And that will take her to five under. Well, here we have it, Rich. This player's tied for the lead with the back nine to play. Yeah, exciting position, isn't it? You'd rather have the lead on your own, but listen, tied for the lead, pretty good spot to be in. They're gonna have to work to earn this victory. Good shot there. Coming off a string of three birdies. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Absolutely. In there close. Good look at Birdie coming up. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for Birdie. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Let's go to our man John on the ground. There's something brewing down there. Let's find out what it is. Well, I'm down here on hole number 11. This is Cameron Champ's next one. Oh, just missed. 
And with that hole behind us, let's have a look at the contenders and the pretenders. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Opting for the four iron here. She played that nicely. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. Oh, so close. And this putt coming up for her par. Yeah, well hold. Let's move on to the next. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard. After that, teeing off here on the 12th hole. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. John, you're down there. What's happening? We're on the 13th hole. This is Patrick Cantley's next shot from 33 feet out. Patrick Cantlay was known as that can't miss kid. He went through all sorts of issues injury wise and also personally losing his friend and caddy in a tragic accident. But he's a guy who has finally found his way to the top. Is it where it belongs, Rich? He's one of the purest swingers, ball strikers in the game, and he's also got the competitive fire uh, that burns awfully bright in his system. There's no doubt that he can be a force to contend with for years to come on the PGA Tour, Luke. I think the one thing that he needs to be mindful of is his pace of play. I think at times it gets a little bit slow, but in saying that, if he's only hitting it 63 times around, how long can it take? <laughs> I mean, he's just, he's an amazing, amazing player. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And with that, she'll move to seven under par. Incredible. And there's no movement on the leaderboard after that hole. The lead continues to grow. This is simply amazing. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. Second shot here on the 13th. <laughs> Opting for the six iron. That's a pretty handy shot. She might be too disappointed with that. Certainly a couple of putts from there. And that'll be a good hole. Birdie at the last. This for another. Well, is that a good line? Oh, these are big momentum putts. Let's make this one from nine feet. This one has eyes for the hole. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. She's currently in first position. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Well, this should find the short grass.
opting for the five iron. That should find the surface. Well, she should be happy with that. Anywhere on the green was a good shot. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. The impressive young Cameron Champ with an amazing shot. This was his second. Let's get back to it, shall we? Chance to move to eight under here. Yeah, that's well judged. And with that, you can go and put a par on the card. So after that hole, this is what the leaderboard looks like. And after that hole, you're currently leading JT by a couple of shots. Let's see what happens here on the 15th. Yeah, that one will play. Let's take a look at Kevin Kisner's effort from earlier. Yeah, I got to say, check this shot out and what a shot it was indeed. Rich, Kevin Kisner is one of these guys who graduated from the University of Georgia and he is like a bulldog isn't he he's like a dog with a bone out on the course you can tell how important a situation is to a player by looking in their eyes and if you look at Kevin and you watch him play you realize that every single shot to him is important he's got the most steely eyes that I've seen in the game since Ray Floyd and Ray was probably the toughest character I'd ever seen on a golf course. Kevin Kisner is that guy. He is the toughest man out there in my mind's eye. This one's for Birdie. Ah, that's a shame. Comes up shy. Wow. Shocking to say the least. How do you miss that? Just a simple tap in for power on this one. And anything can happen down the stretch. Let's see what takes place. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by two strokes. Three holes remaining. This is what it's all about. Time to see who is going to get it done. Opting for the three wood. Well, that was fantastic. What a shot from the leader. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. Be the ball, Danny. No, 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 no. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. And with that, she'll move to eight under par. Awesome play. I tell you what, there's been some great golf being played all over the course. Let's have a look at this. Well, Cameron Champ, he went after it here, didn't he? Let's take a look at the leaderboard as it stands. And after that hole, leading Justin Thomas by three strokes. Two holes to go, Luke. I know who I like. That swing reminded me of smooth jazz. Great rhythm. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. That drive was simply astonishing.
Nicely done. 13 feet to the hole. If it's up, it could be in. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Now five shots up after that hole. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one. Left nothing in the tank on that one. That was pummeled. Oh, what a shot by our leader. Luke, that one was humongous. And here we are with the third shot. Oh, that's great. It just missed the hole. Oh, what a wonderful play. Leading with intent. And with this putt, she can win the tournament. It's tracking. You can mark that down as a victory. She'll claim it with all her heart. Absolutely. All tournament long, they just played outstanding golf. Hats off to them. This is impressive. To win out here on tour is a big deal, but to go back to back, Rich, how significant is that? Luke, winning once on the PGA Tour is difficult enough to win back-to-back -back weeks. That's reserved for just the top players in the game. Well, on behalf of myself, Rich Beam, and all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.